Okay, hey guys, so today we're going to look at the GE Cafe 27, 27 inches, I believe, or 28. The coating itself on the fridge is beautiful. It's a matte white and it has really tiny, I don't know if you can see, little tiny speckles. It's, I mean, it's not really noticeable at all. Like, it is a matte white. We should have got the one made for the counters, but our contractor went ahead and custom made it out to make this fit in. The one that you're seeing right now is this guy. It's already been plugged in. Uh, here's the light. Light works. This screen right here is all touch screen, so let's turn off this light. Um, it's only connected to cold water. But, if you want, you can do hot water if you like. So you would hit hot water, and then you have these options, or you can do a custom temperature, and as I said, it is touch screen. So you would hit warm, and this little bar here, you have to let that load. So this loads first. So I set it to 90 degrees, and it was, it was kind of warm, but I wanna see if it actually gets like hot. So, yeah, let's do T. We're gonna see how long it takes uh, for the hot water of this GE Cafe fridge to get to 170 degrees. Yay. That is definitely hot. Okay, so we got our hot water. Sorry, I put some peanuts in my mouth. We got some hot water. Um, it took about, I wanna say four minutes to get, uh, what did we do? We just did 170 degrees and it was hot. Like if you had a tea bag in there, you definitely have a hot tea. Um, so yeah, that's the hot water function. Um, it has a precise fill. And touch screen, you can go all the way down to one ounce, all the way up, or you can even change it to milliliters, quarts, cups, ounces, milliliters, quarts. Let's see, it goes all the way up. You can go all the way. Um, I don't know how you can go, but you can go pretty high, like 15 cups. Like, I don't know why you would need I mean, that's a lot of that's a lot of cups. Uh, this guy pulls out a little bit, so if you have a larger container, you can set it on there. Um, these handles are beautiful; they're super easy to put on. Um, this is not an installation video, so but they are super nice. Uh, we got them because we are doing a mixed metal in our kitchen, as you can see. Uh, we wanted to make this. This is a great idea, you know, if you can't get those fridges that are actually, you know, like built in, like, but you know, you want to make it look built in um, for a, a more reasonable price. So yeah, this has a water filter. Um, you can lock the controls. You got water here, crushed ice, cubed, has express modes too, which I'm not really sure what those are yet, but that's cool. Settings here, um, go in there. Wait, what's that? Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi? Hmm, that's cool. I guess you can do something with Wi-Fi there. Um, photos? Wow. I guess you can put photos into here. Uh, I'm not sure, I'll have to follow up with that, but it tells you how the water filter's doing. All digital. Um, now let's see how we can change the temperature. Altitude option there for anyone living at a higher altitude. I'm trying to see here, sound. That's for like if you leave your fridge open and it has an alarm, you need sound for this probably too. Um, it has a tutorial. Oh, there it is. Temperature. It's all touch screen again. You can set the temperature of your fridge. Um, it's recommended 37, so we'll just keep it there. Um, yeah, that's the 
outside of this fridge so far. Ooh. Yeah, again, we, we got, we purchased the, the standard version, but they do make uh, versions that are built for in cabinets. So as you can see, we had to build out a little bit more to make this one fit because we didn't want to return it and go through with getting another one. Um, and you do have a little more space with this one. This is the one we have, and if you do want to get a counter one, that's going to be 31. What that means is that if you got the counter one, this thing that you see here wouldn't be there, but honestly, it doesn't kill me, and you get a little more space. So that's an option if you want to just build it out that way. Let's open this baby up. So it's a two-door fridge. Look at all those lights, all LED. Yeah, each one of these silver things right here, those are all lights, that's pretty cool. There's like, uh, it's like light sitting here for sure. Um, so these are gonna, these are uh, the side panels here which I have not put in yet, but that's a lot of space right there. You got these drawers here, Two drawers and then one drawer here, so that drawer opens up like that. That did not come with the fridge. That is some sweets. Um, this is the water filter here that it comes with. Don't forget when when you first plug this in, you're gonna have to purge it, run it for a good two minutes or 16 ounces. I do it a little bit more. Freezer. So beautiful. Just rolls out, rolls back in. Again, really nice with the lighting. Uh, you have some options here. You can take this out. You also have this drawer here that comes out too. So it is a double drawer here. Again, we went with a mixed metal look for our kitchen. And these handles work great. And on your bottom drawer in the fridge, you have a temperature select zone, is what it's called, I guess. Uh, you got a selector here. Whoa. That's cool. I've not seen that before. Um, so, okay, you can put it on meat, beverages. Ooh, it's blue. So I guess beverages is blue, and what's deli? Ooh, deli's green. That's cool. Check this out. I could do this all day. All right, so the fridge is making a sound because I've obviously left these doors open way too long playing with these lights, but uh, yeah, I think it's time to go. Whoop. 